On who? Obi Brown. Spider Punk. Obi Brown. Who did this? That's Spider the Punk. Who... The British dude. Guitar. Mm, I can't picture right now. <laughs> I the one, the right. one who tells Miles, use your palms. Who hates capitalism. Oh, the black guy with the, with the locks? I mean, I don't know if they're locks, but yeah. The one, the, the black guy, the guitar. Yeah. With the locks. That's locks. Maybe. Not maybe. That, you, don't, you know how different forms of locks, right? Yeah. They call them free form locks. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Why do you keep saying maybe? I'm not, I'm not asking saying? I'm you. Passing energy with your host, Pre. <laughs> when this mouth starts, yeah, but that's it. And that's it. Prepare to be enlightened and entertained. Hey guys, Priest here, and welcome to another episode of Nerding Wednesday with co-host Sky. It's me, I'm back. <laughs> well, you, you can start, it's my catchphrase when I say, I know I've been a minute. <laughs> 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 Y'all should be used by now, posting on the, on the, what you call it again, the YouTube shorts should keep y'all entertained. I know it's the numbers and the engagement went up due to the YouTube shorts, so... At least if y'all don't get the podcast, you're going to see my ugly mug and these YouTube shorts to keep you entertained until we drop this podcast. So I appreciate all the new followers and the engagement and whatnot. <laughs> so, yeah. So, guys, in today's episode, we're going to be discussing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I watched it on Sunday with my nephew. That was interesting. I was surprising that it was not available in 40x i was forced to watch it imax which i was not happy about doing because i just was <laughs> watching the little mermaid in imax i want to do 40x man it's an adventure marvel film and i gotta watch it in still seats <laughs> i'm not complaining i was in still seats <laughs> <laughs> so you, did you watch it imax or you just watch it in a regular theater it's a regular theater Mm. They have the theaters over there anyway, like it's normal, nothing special about it. I mean, maybe there is. I don't know. <laughs> I just no, I I go for the. I can't go 3D because I have glasses, so I have to do 2D. <laughs> so this oh, is what wow! It is. I never actually I never thought about people wear glasses who can watch 3D. Like you can, but yeah. just put the the shades over the glasses. You could, but it just it just doesn't feel right, and sometimes it falls off and everything, so it's just hard to experience it, you know. Unless you get contacts. Yeah, basically, and I don't like sticking things in my eyes, so. <laughs> live, you yeah. live and not learn, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a three D version of it. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I, I was just. I, I don't just really think three D. Yeah, I don't really think 3D is a thing like that no more, to be honest with you. I think people are just interested in watching IMAX or the 4DX. But 3D, I don't see them pushing 3D movies like that no more. Because it's like, eh. Unless it's virtual reality, like how Apple trying to produce this $3,000 headset. Y'all really see that almost like, ah, I'm dumping with a car. Jesus. But anyway, unless it's that. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, unless it's that, no one cares for no Doug on 3D um, glasses. But anyway, anyway, that's so we're here to talk about the Spider Verse. Just get out my system. I did enjoy the movie. It was good, it's beautifully done. The first movie was was excellent, and this one was a very good follow up to it, in my opinion. I I really enjoyed it. Like me and my nephew, we was watching it. My nephew was in. My watch. My nephew watched the original, the first one. But see, like seven times on Netflix when it's available on Netflix. And it's kind of getting annoying how much every day he'll watch the same movie over. Like, like brother, you already know what's going to happen next. Like, Look, watch that's the inspiration time. building up in that child, my guy. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. My boy, he's soaking that in. He's drenched. Yeah, it was annoying. It was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he watch it every day. Every day. When he used to come by, even when I used to babysit him, he come by me in my apartment. He just pop in um, Spider Man, Miles Morales. Like, he That's was right. obsessed when it, when it first came out. And now, when this new Spider Verse came out, 
I said, let me take him to watch it. And he was in the seat, rocking the chair, giddy. I said, now, brother, you home now. You, you, you amongst people. Like, get relaxed, sit down, and watch the movie like a regular person, okay? You're not by yourself. So, <laughs> but it was, it was, it was good, I must say. I was surprised it was this long, though. Two hours and 30 minutes. I was like, God damn it. Bro, people... I wish it was longer. What you mean? Huh? <laughs> I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer. Sky, I ain't lying. So at one point, I was like, God, God, God damn, we still here? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was, see. right? I, you fell asleep. I can't talk to you, bro. I can't talk. No, no, no. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, listen, Linda. Listen. <laughs> I told the movie was good, you know. It has nothing to do with me because I went to work earlier that day. But I just like zoom in and zoom. I said, Priest, what the hell are you doing, Priest? You paid too much money for this. I said, I can't miss no part. So I'll like close my eyes for like at least like close to a minute and then I snap myself out of it and start watching. Because I wanted to watch it again, but I didn't know it was too. The Little Mermaid was only an hour and 33 minutes. Spider-Verse was two hours and 33. That's a marvel. And it should have been four. What? Talk to me again. Well, a lot of the end, it's... Yeah, boy. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That, 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 let's just start from the beginning. And when right. we get to that end, then we can talk about that end. Right, 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 right. So what are your thoughts on Spider-Verse? 100. 1,000 out of 10. Tell me I'm wrong. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just yes. I just I just everything perfection. Whatever I came in the theater, I had expectations mm. I'm gonna watch a good movie. I didn't realize I watched in a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how high that hit me. From the oh. beginning to the end, that hit me. My mouth was open, straight true. I was out here leaning in my chair. I was out here talking to my boy at the same time. We was just out here Gideon. It was it. That was it. It was just music, art storytelling it was just peak i just didn't know what right like it who, was visually beautiful who's getting the raise who tell <laughs> these people to work like 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 god you know, like, like they're working on a whole whole universe like that i was just right. like yo this is this is too much for me and i was just all right. up in it this remind me of how i played marvel's ultimate alliance when you had super and guys, just to let you know, if you didn't watch the movie, there's going to be a spoiler podcast. So you're here to listen and then join in the conversation in the comment section. But if you've not watched the movie, I suggest you'll watch it and then join us in the comment section. Okay? But it's like Ultimate Alliance where you, you either pick a side and you either be like the superheroes were fighting each other and it's depending on which side you won't be on. You won't be side where the government control your movement, or you won't be the side where you're free to do whatever you want to do as a superhero without, without having to go through the government and they decide how you move. So this gave me the idea of that feeling of where you have all these superheroes of different versions of Spider-Man that they're fighting. They're fighting. All of them are doing good for different reasons. Because both of their size is good, regardless. You know, the reason why both of them want to do what they want to do. So, guys, just give a little briefing. You know, if you watch the movie, it's about Miles Morales. He's found out now that he's the reason so much different dimension are being intertwined. It was his fault. He was never supposed to be Spider-Man. It was a fluke. And now the different Spider-Mans from all the different verse are coming together to basically stop him from trying to save his dad because in every universe they're supposed to lose someone that's close to them or a police a police chief because every universe is a police chief and he has to pass away in his universe his dad won and he's trying to stop that from happening but if he stops it from happening then the world that he knows it might collapse and a lot of innocent people might disappear or die basically so I don't know. That's a hard stance if you ask me. I ain't gonna lie. He's like, okay, so should I let my dad die for the rest of the world? But like, what would you do? Cause that's a. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, boy. Let me tell you. I was riding with Miles, bro. I was riding with Miles. All I was thinking in my head was, bro, you you living off this fallacy that it has to happen, right? Right. But ain't no, no, ain't nothing ever set in stone. Even if Correct. every other Spider-Man has to go through it, if I if I could still try and fight it, 
because every spider-man tries to fight it and if it still happens then it was meant to be right and if you right. can't control it, you can't control it but at least make the effort to try and change it like you know right. like that makes more sense to me than just letting it happen because it's foreseen rather than actually still trying even if you know you might fail the idea of hope which is like a human thing or whatever is just mm-hmm. it's just it's still what you want you need to do right and i like the idea how they played around with that you give them two alternative options all of them are spider-man which means they all have this duty a sense of mm-hmm. justice within them this responsibility so they all basically use this responsibility and how they see it and i i think that was very clever writing and it really mm-hmm. divides what it means to be spider-man regardless of who was the spider-man that you're voting for you know and how you find those different spider-man that was epic my Amazing. nephew was freaking out over the dinosaur spider-man version where the dinosaur came from did the dinosaur spider-man i'm like brother i wasn't seeing you watching it <laughs> and it's like it's relax, 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 relax. Is this a dinosaur? I said, yes, it's a dinosaur. So that was sort of weird that they, how much of these spiders bitch random things and they became Spider Man. That was hilarious. The monkey version, the dinosaur version of Spider Man. It was goofy, but so interesting at the same time. It was, this is such a, a fun, beautifully it's done. It's fun. It's really fun. It's, it's really, fun, exactly. Know. How they made the Spider-Man, the one who's a uh, half vampire, to make uh, him basically Miguel, oh, yeah. just Miguel. I, I forget his whole name. Yeah, Spider Twenty Ninety Nine. Yeah, you think it would be the sport guy, but he the sport guy is just you know the common denominator. But the real like quote unquote villain of this movie is the the Spider-Man, the vampire version. I can't remember his name. But he's the main antagonist. I wouldn't say villain, but antagonist yeah, yeah, of Miles Monroe. Yeah. Good boy, how they is fight? It's like goddamn, it's a it's a teenage look, boy, only fifteen. Look, like, look, I was expecting him to, to lose a rib or something because he was mashing him up. I was like, yo, ain't yes, no way. Yes, they wasn't playing with him. They wasn't ain't no way. <laughs> and and the thing, the fact that I glad I glad that Gwen came to her senses and said, okay, let me help my boy out. But the fact that she's just watching them get beat up and everything, I was like, that's what kind of friend you is. Like, all you saying is, you're, you're taking it too loose, too far. I'm like, mom, could you help me out? Could you help your boy out? Like, jeez. I feel like her confliction makes sense, right? Like, I get it. Like, I, I get why she is afraid to fight back because she also doesn't want to lose this. Because this, mm. to her, she's afraid of going back home. So it's like, she's afraid of going back home. And losing a sense of purpose now right and at the same time she's also afraid of losing miles her only friend after peter has died so she had a lot of confliction the same thing as miles right like and i feel like at this point which is very interesting is that every spider person is going through a conflict within them on what's the right thing to do at this moment right mm-hmm. so at the end of the day it's always just whatever you feel is the right thing to do just do it like like you'll work out the consequences but you feel like this is the right thing to do because even even peter b parker you know the the dad the dad version the most peter yeah. parker of them all is even going through his what's... conflict <laughs> and he just he just sit there like bro you you were supposed to be my uh, mentor and you're not even talking on my behalf. You're not even trying to do anything. Like, you are the way to get really bad to say, okay, let's help your boy out because this ain't right how they doing this because this is not who we supposed to be, you know? Because it's like, this can't be right. Are we really Are we really the superheroes in this moment? Is this really justice? You expect a 15-year-old boy to just sit back and then watch someone access dad off i have the ability to save my dad and it's not my dad's gonna die from natural causes someone's actually going to end him and you expect me to be okay with that i don't understand to be in that moment this is my father i gotta live with this while yes i in a perfect situation i would like to save everyone but if my dad died my dad is my world my mom is my world so if they gone I have nothing left. So I'm with Miles 100%, 
on that decision. Bay Mars was about that life. He took on all those flicking suckers. He, he said, said brother, home. let's do this. Let's <laughs> listen, do this. Y'all ain't gonna stop me from saving my dad. And you got to give him credit. You got to give him credit on his thinking. He has really good thinking. Oh, he's very intelligent, very smart. And I don't think people give him enough credit on it because he's he's always jokey. But all the Peter Parkers are jokey. Spider-Man was always a, a jokey person. He's always had this charisma about him where everything's like a joke, like Deadpool, you know? And the crazy part of when he finally got away from them, he strategically got away from them. And the girl help him out. I try and figure. You think there's some type of little connection between the the, the girl, um, the hologram girl and him? Because I think I so. He... I think so. I think when he first came and they first had their little talk, I think she showed interest in him. Right? Like she's like. Oh, I think so. He did the same thing character. too. Yeah, he was just like, oh, okay. This is like he's, he was just he was just overwhelmed. He's just like, yo, this is Spider Society. I don't have to feel alone anymore. Right, because I was yeah, but he keeps he staring at her like it was like a staring, like flirtatious thing. I don't know. Do you mean like the like first a... time or like at the end? Yeah, no, the first time he keeps staring at her. He keep his attention keep going on to her and whatnot. I know Doctor Umar Johnson will be proud by if you see that scene. <laughs> <laughs> this is like segue a little bit. Doctor Umar Johnson, <laughs> he went viral for talking about how he criticized the Spider Man universe saying they got this black boy with this white girl this snow bunny jungle fever but they trying to break the black family diet down and everything i'm like dr umar really really it's a children's show like come on because i know how he thinks it's very wild and the fact that he tried to attack this anime animated movie that's beautifully done like it's not that deep the fact that he took something that's so be light and friendly into something so deep and crazy, it was hilarious. I just want to put that there. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny how he created the poster and called it Jungle Fever. It was just stupid. Take it was mind. stupid. But anyway, he finally got away from all of them. And the girl ended up helping him at the end. Just for him to not go back home. I was like, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. I forget. I forget all about that. That's how good the storytelling was that it made me even forget where he might end up. And I thought, perfect storytelling. Babe, that was so good. I really thought that was his mom. And she would yeah. give the hint away to me that something was off when she said, oh, you did something new with your hair. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. That shocked me when the uncle came up behind him. And that's when he realized that. Yeah, that's when we were all like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, <laughs> he's not in the right universe. But it's so crazy how infinite this verses are because literally there's a, must be a billion or trillion version of yourself just doing different things you know and he's in a world where he's not spider-man and his uncle's still alive but his dad is not that's crazy his uncle scared the hell out of me how dark his uncle is it's so weird they follow me let's go do something and it, you can see something was off with his uncle. I know he's sensitive too, but because he still loves his uncle, he still following him regardless of how cautious he was. Yeah. But, but to see that the different, the, the evil version of himself, I ain't like. I think, I think that's pretty ironic, actually. I, no, but where so, are they going with that struggle braids, like the, um, the color purple hairstyle? Where, what, what's going on with that? Why they put the color purple hairstyle on Miles Monroe different version because they no they should give him I regular mean, braids I, I feel like his hair was just braided down but the the, the view the, the vibrancy of the purple prowler uh lead light LED light is what my issue just some cornrows just do some cornrows I didn't I didn't like that it didn't look good I didn't like that. that's the only critique because I didn't like that it didn't look good uh -huh. <laughs> that's the only critique I have so far that movie is the fact that I didn't like his hairstyle they give him in the next universe. I think a simple corn roll would would have been done. Would have been great. Not that little color purple hair hairstyle. Only left him to do the hot the, the the pot. I don't know the song, but whatever they said, the color purple when they do the hand clap. That's that's that's, a, that's the vibe it gave me when it came to that damn struggle hair. I didn't look good, but anyway, other than that, that's crazy. But I had a feeling, Sky, that the movie's gonna end like that because we already passed two hours it's already 30 minutes already 
I was like, I wasn't know, even what? calculating the time. I just knew we were near the I end. I calculated. Did her speech. I was like, why does it sound like the end of a season one speech? You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, this better be have the best ending ever with a speech like this. No, and because then it there's too much to develop. See, see, see the reason why I know, <laughs> this is how I know, guy, that it was going to end on this note because, hey, now we got to deal with evil Miles and the evil uncle. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. The sports like, oh, guy is, to deal with. Yeah, the sport guy is still out there doing what the hell ever you do. I like how they introduce him as a harmless person and found out uh, he's the reason we're in all this nonsense. And then yeah. we got to deal with the other Spider Man people who, yeah. who chase it. And then Gwen's team are going to be the one to rescue Miles Morales. So. I just like that. I like they brought the old team back together, including the one with the guitar. He's a good addition to the team. Spider Punk. Yeah, Spider Punk. Ob Brown. <laughs> That's my boy, Ob Brown. I must say they give a lot of reputation to black people in this movie. I must say. Oh, yeah. but that's what I was saying. I was saying that the moment I saw them all together and I saw the hologram one, the hologram yeah. girl, I was like, wait, that's a lot. That's a lot yeah. of representation. I was like, this is crazy. Yeah. This yes. is crazy. Yeah. And it felt natural. And it, yeah. had, and it felt forced. This was movie was beautifully done. My dad was That's supposed to watch it with me, but he ended up... Because I didn't tell me, say, oh, priest, I won't go with you, you and Damari to watch it. And I was like, really? He said, yeah. He said, when his little boys watch this Spider-Man, I was watching it with him. Every time he watch it. He said, I thought the first one was beautiful. I said, the animated version, dad. And he said, yes, the animated version. I love the first one. My dad loved the first animated Spider-Man with Miles Morales. And he wanted to watch it, but because he had to do some other stuff, he couldn't make it no more. He said, Priest, how was it? I said, Daddy, it was really good. And he said, oh, I got to watch it. I got to watch it. I got to watch it. Yeah. Watch it. I said, up. When you get a movie, a show that can appeal to every generation, the younger ones, to the mid to the older generation, that's when you know this, this anime and animation is the, the S. I'm sorry. This is beautifully done. Like you said, and the music, when Miles was listening to the music, he's laying down in the bed, and the color scheme, everything vibrating. And no, that, it's boring. just really... You, I thought, this ha- they're good at transition. I must give them that. They're very good at transition. Because you thinking now, he's just... The music is just... He's developed... He's just sinking himself in this music world and everything but actually the reason why everything is floating and the color was changing because Gwen was coming in that was a beautiful transition I say oh man I gotta I gotta, I gotta download some of the Spider-Man um, soundtrack look this the soundtrack the- already out there <laughs> already, it already out, out go, on, it go on YouTube the company Sony already lists the entire original soundtrack for the movie and I was okay, like oh I my gotta god download that. that's some good oh study god. music that's some good study music because lord knows I need some focus music so that definitely would be into listening to that. So let me tell you, bro, everything about that was so good. I could just I could keep going, bro. Like um Spider Woman, bro, tell me why she out here beating dudes with motorcycle. I was like, that's it. That's it. She didn't <laughs> even need to I'm walk. Pregnant. Don't forget about that. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. She didn't need to walk. She just needed to hit you with the motorcycles. And I was like, that's just crazy. That's amazingly insane. I, I just couldn't believe it. Right, right, right. And then you got Indian Spider Man. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. He I, was so I, cocky I, I, for six months. I was like, that's exactly how I would have been. <laughs> I would have been just like that as a Spider Man, just acting up. And I was like, thanks, son. Just seeing the different, the different universes and. You know, it, it's, it was crazy. I like how they referenced a lot of different Marvels. Like, they did Doctor Strange. Um, I can't... The people in the theater was talking, but I, I'm not familiar with the character Donna Glover was. He's I'm the, not familiar he's, with the character. He... In... in um, <laughs> okay, in the movie with Tom Holland, the first one, he... The first Spider-Man? Yeah, the first one with Tom Holland. Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, you, hold on. That's not the first Spider-Man story. No, no, I said the first one with Tom Holland. Okay, that's why I said the yeah. first Spider-Man. I, I, you, okay, the, the version with Tom Holland. Okay, that's the one with Zendaya. So, 
Yeah. So he okay. in that movie, uh, Donald Glover was the uncle of Miles Morales in that movie. And he really? was out there selling weapons. Yeah, he was in that movie. And he was in selling weapons from the back of his trunk. And then that's when Spider Man came. He did his whips. And then he, he, he pinned him down to the trunk. And then Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh so from there, that's why I didn't remember it. Yes. Yeah. So now oh, he, he I didn't know that was Miles Morales uncle. Yeah. Oh, because he had his he had his last name or something. He in the in, they they named off what his name was in the theater, uh, so that later on now in this movie you see him <laughs> as Prowler, you know. So I think that's 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 good. That's oh, good storytelling. Oh man, I feel like I you can watch that. any Spider-Man movie and they'll all connect for some weird reason. <laughs> that's- that's crazy. I didn't know that. Mine not. I just thought he was just a regular street thug when I watched that movie with, with Tom Holland in it. Um, I just, yeah. like I said, I, just, I didn't see that connection in it. But, you know, I mean, yeah. that's before the animated Miles Bro came out. Wow. That's a good Easter egg. That's a good connection. And I like how they mix real world with the animated world like that and the different drawing styles. Like, I mean, the first one they did that, but the, the second one actually involve the real world um people in it like that that's crazy man that's crazy i i, I like that you think that they'll ever do a live action actually they will i don't know when though a live action version of um miles morale i feel it coming but not now because i'll give them i'll give them about eight 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 to nine years yeah because the animated version too hype the segue and plus they already have tall Tom Holland's plotted out for that, so it'll be conflicting with his movie until he or grow the Spider-Man yeah. role because you know you have to be a certain age. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I'm kind of fine with Miles Morales just staying animated. Like I don't necessarily. But you know they're gonna make a. Uh, you know they're gonna make one though. Yeah. You if they that. do, then you know I guess it's inevitable. But if they keep him as just an animated Miles Morales, because he's also in the video games, right? So most likely the video games might also intercede with the world building uh, the same as how Star Wars kind of does it so they might do the same thing with the Spider-Man I would say games. kept in the video games I wish they kept hit like close to his original design because they designed them totally different like I understand it's two different art styles but I wish they had just kept the theme of okay he have a, he have high hair what they have his hair low cut in the, the game version like I mean, in the comic cool. version, his hair was low cut too. It wasn't huh? actually high. In the, in the comic version, his hair was low cut. It wasn't actually high. Yeah, but I'm trying to say, which they kept like the animated version close to, you know, so you could feel more like him. But I didn't say they want to be true to the, the actual, um, to the comic, like you say, you know. Yeah. But geez, Sony, oh, I'm a boy. Sony lost the contract to x-men but they still own the rights to marvel i mean the spider-man i mean they were selling everything but they say spider-man we keep in that we keep in that so you tell me about so to sell it so off he was about to sell it off but then after into the spider-verse did so well they retracted their statement it's like now nah, we're not selling it anymore because that was going to be their last spider-man movie they was ever going to do and they was about to sell it to disney but then after its success they give it back like, to nope. disney <laughs> Hmm? I mean, give it back to the Disney? <laughs> no, no. It was they. Disney never had it. It was always Sony. No, remember Disney owned Marvel, and Marvel is the creator of Spider Man. Yeah, but Sony bought Spider Man first. Yeah, I'm just trying to say that they're giving it back to Disney, who owns Marvel, and Marvel, um, they're giving it back to the owners. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but Marvel was yeah. sold separately from Spider Man. They Sony bought. I, I, know, I know. I know. I know. I'm just first, saying yeah. that they. If they give it back to Disney, I'm just looking at technical that they're giving it back to the original owner because Marvel is under the Disney umbrella. That's all I'm trying, that's all I'm trying to say in the whole monopoly system behind that. But uh-huh. I'm not going to lie. Disney really, not Disney, Sony really messed up X-Men. But I'm glad that they, for some weird reason, they're good with Spider-Man. They, they're just good at producing Spider-Man films. But but X Men, no, they was not good at that. At all. <laughs> Disney will try and salvage that. Yeah, they did. They did X Men the job. Movies. But I'm surprised that even though Spider Man's owned by Sony, he still was in the Marvel Universe. 
Oh yeah, they had, they had contracts. They said yeah. we because we have Spider Man in Avengers, we want to try and do it right. That's why the last movie with Tom Holland, where he kind of goes non-existent and back to step one, right, where no one knows him, it was supposed to be kind of a send-off, right, so that they don't have to make any more Spider-Man movies because no one remembers him. Uh, at least how I kind of foresaw it, and I don't know if they actually said it said it in that way, but I feel like that. I think Disney might have, like you said, they might have a contract where they might own animated rights. Um, I mean, Sony might own anime rights, but that live action, Disney have um, control over it because if you look at Spider-Man, um, the live action, they had the Marvel logo and the comics and everything, but when Mars Morale load up, there was no, nothing referenced to Marvel at all. So uh-huh. it just shows you that um, Disney, I mean, Sony only owns, no, I not only owns, but they they, I think they own the animated material. I just, I don't know. No, I, they own. I, I got it right in front of me. So just <laughs> in case y'all don't go off and say, "Well, preset that there's facts." No, no, y'all can let me know in the comment section down below. Write the facts there. I just going off for uh, off rip. Either way, the Spider Man across the Spider Verse is excellent. What do you think they're going to bring up part two? And I, I, I was like, damn. People in the movie theater actually upset, but actually, no, they say, come on, man. I'm like, uh, y'all still want to be here? It's been two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, I would have still wanted to be there. That's uh, that's the point. And that's why I'm complaining. It's because it's that good. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, oh, man, come on. I'm like, I'm like, people, come on, man. This, some people are actually staying back to see if it's going to be I extra back, content. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is not Marvel, people. This is not Marvel. This is Sony. You don't know that. A lot of movies are doing it now, so this doesn't. Did they do it? it? No. Okay then. Thank no. you. Thank you. All right. But I'm still saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, but it didn't happen. So that's why I didn't <laughs> stay back. Why I was I was stay back? I say, ah, let's go. I tell my nephew, let's I go. I don't know, it. man. The soundtrack was kind of banging. Yeah, I can listen to that anytime. I want to stay in the movie there and listen to that. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. And we go on. And he, he, he said he loved the movie. And I said, yeah, it was really good. True. It's really good. So what do you think part two coming out? What you give, give him that two years. Next ago. year. No, next next year. year? They they said it's coming back next year, bro. See, that's what happens when you don't stay back. <laughs> they tell you exactly when they're coming back. They already oh, said that. They know stuff about yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they just said part one, so part two, I guess it would be right after it. Because yeah. movies now, when when movies are sequel, they don't announce it right away. Or they even announce it. It's like we announcing it, bro. We've been working on this hard. We announcing this, bro. It took them right, apparently right, three right. years. It took them apparently three years to to work on Hobie Brown's animation style. On who? Hobie Brown, Spider Punk. Who are this? That's Spider the person Punk, who... The British dude. Guitar. Mm, I can't picture right now. <laughs> I the can't one, the one who tells Miles, use your palms. Who hates capitalism. Oh, the black guy with the, with the locks? I mean, I don't know if they're locks, but yeah. The the one, the, the black guy with the guitar? Yeah. With the locks. That's locks. Maybe. Not maybe that you don't you know it's different forms of locks, right? Yeah. They call them free form locks. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Why do you keep saying maybe? I'm not I'm not I'm asking saying, you. Maybe there is. There's a difference. Because I I've seen people that have locks that are like uniformly flat, but they're not considered locks. They're considered something else. No, just because they don't recognize as that. They literally are called locks. They're um um free form locks. The locks are matting up the hair, matting and twisting up the hair, and then some people don't twist the hair; they they mat. But basically, your hair is joined together. Anyway, it's locking together. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> have nothing to do with the price of rice. <laughs> oh man! So let's end on this note, guys. Like I said, it was excellently done. I am truly enjoy myself. I have nothing negative to say about this movie besides homeboy um, color purple struggle hair. Uh, it, it made his character just look ugly and stupid. But other than that, 
um i i really enjoyed this movie it was fun to watch very long i appreciate i appreciate being long I, it, it, you didn't realize how long it was until i was like okay we're still here but it still it was still it didn't feel like a chore to watch so it was still a fun movie there was no dull moments there was no moments where i feel like okay let's hurry and get through this man let's hurry and get through this like there was never that moment where i was like oh god rolling my eyes trying to figure like if we get the next scene so which is really was really good so Definitely, I would say a 9.9, .9, only because of the hair. <laughs> only because of the hair, I didn't give it a 10. 9.9. .9. That's my score. Sky, what's your final thoughts? I don't say in the beginning, bro. 1,000 out of 10. <laughs> Just masterpiece. So there's nothing you feel like they could have done different. You feel like everything is well done. No, no. Everything was well done. If you keep me on the edge of my seat, make me get time, and you make me thinking there's gonna be more, and then you end it off right there, it's crazy. I feel right. like it's, it's just too good for that, you know? Right. <laughs> well, that's a good, man. Go in the sky, because I didn't stay for the crowd. Tell me, Nevi, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> there's gonna be part two, Mike, that's gonna drop next year, hopefully. So I definitely will be gearing up to watch it. And I hope it'll be in 4DX. I can't watch a regular sit-down movie. I don't feel the action, man. I don't feel the chairs moving. But yes, so. <laughs> so guys, let us know what you think about the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. What are your thoughts on it? And remember to subscribe to the YouTube. And if you're listening on podcast streaming service, please remember to sub to that as well so you get notification when a new podcast has dropped. And give a like to the YouTube guys. Give a like and then, yeah, show some love to the page. All right, guys, until next time, peace.